by your job. I, you know, I failed well, on my this, job. It was this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I actually thought you meant. And I was yeah. like, yes, you did. But that's all right. Welcome back to Less Cash, More Mash. My name's Tom. White. And today, we're cracking open a pre-cracked open bottle of discretion. This is another gift from, uh, or shouldn't say gift, a donation. Anyways, <laughs> discretion. It's a wheat bourbon. I don't have my glasses and I didn't write anything down, so continue. I nailed that intro. I nailed that intro. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit of stuttering. I, I, I got. I, well, I got so sidetracked. I'm trying to see what it says. It, it is a bourbon, though. It's a wheat bourbon. Wheat bourbon. So this one, we, we're doing it right after because I, I, I wanted is it, it gotta to be, be fresh. Wheat or bourbon? On it? No. If you, if if, if it, it was if bourbon. it was in a okay. So if you said it's bourbon, bourbon. Or you said wheat. It's, it's a bourbon. bourbon. The difference is, is the last it's one we wheat. did by this same thing. This is actually made by tarnished. Uh, Truth Distillery in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And again, super fan of the channel, brought this one back with him and uh, left it here for us to try as a, a review. Uh, thank you again, very Steve. Brief. Thank you, thank you again. <laughs> we're doing our best not to kill him, but I, we're going to have to compare because you want to know which one we like better. So we're going to compare this to the one we just did uh, previously in another review uh, a couple days ago. But this is 70% corn, 18% wheat, 12% malted barley. And if you remember the last one, the Tarnished Truth, which it, it's up top, was like 60% corn, I think like 38% 38, 38 and right. four malted barley. So this is his, inspired by the historic Cavalier Hotel. That was the name of the hotel. We couldn't remember which one it was. In which it actually is a distilled in. This is, this is distilled in a hotel and they claim it's the one of the only, which only makes sense because Stills can blow up. I didn't think they could put it in a hotel with a bunch of people, but they must have a crazy safe different, pads. There's different ways of doing them now. It has to be. So uh, it is a weeded they, bourbon. They don't have the big propane things below. No, it. I know, but it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any rye. Now the last one we had was a thirty something percent rye. Eight. It was it was a high rye. So so this is named discretion itself comes from the iconic hotel and beach club known for its discretion in keeping indiscretions on the down low so that's why they named it so i don't even know exactly what's going on in virginia beach but uh back in the day it was a wild town so they say so uh i don't know we'll have to see it was the eastern las vegas it, 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 it i guess so he did want to what was his name out there playboy mansion that wasn't there that was out in that's out in Vegas, isn't it? I mean, or California. I don't remember. I used to know. Hugh Hefner. Yeah. I think that's out in California, isn't it? I've never been. So I, 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 I don't know. But I, at very least, I figure it was in, in Vegas. Now, okay. So, again, this is what we started on. So I I apologize for the tarnished truth. Actually, we're going to... The nose doesn't we're gonna fire on that. That's what I'm saying. So when you... I kept confusing you with a weeder. So when Steve and I did this, when Steve and I, tried I to think. so when Steve and I did this the other day, we 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 started with discretion. That's what this confused was really me. Really gonna throw me off. So so this is we started with discretion. So I'm only gonna pour a little. It is like no right, none. So this is what that to me when I smelt this, I haven't smelt it today. When I first did discretion, I got wheat bread, and that's what I'm getting again. Mm. I get like a, a straight bread. We're not talking like a banana bread. We're not talking like a, 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 a you know, a, a zucchini bread. I'm talking an actual bread bread. I'm pulling myself a tiny bit so we can compare which one we like better. But the difference is, 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 is again, we're, we're reviewing this one. But it's the same distillery. And Steve wanted to know which one you actually like better. What, and same proof? This is 92? Same proof. Now... So right off the bat, let me try. Yep, go ahead. My the hang time and flavor to me is better in discretion. Exactly what we said. <laughs> right, right exactly off the bat what we said. Me. Yep. I like I, I, that was good, pricey. Yep. And very very unique. If I was to go there, I would probably get this one. So way this first. one, it, it, 
They are so but close. But it's not. It's totally but different. If, if you brought it up against a real a regular weeder, it, would, it wouldn't even. It, 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 you'd be like, I, I'm sure. Are we still drinking it? The same 100% thing? unique. But these two smell a lot alike. They do. So this was forty four ninety nine. This is and that was fifty. This has the stronger Just, of whatever note that we I, we can't get. Right. So again, it brings me to the Scotch land, which I don't know. You keep saying that's yeah, impossible, no. but it does for me. I, I don't I, get the bread thing that you're pour, getting. I want to pour you a Scotch. No. Just no, so you sorry. know. Like, I 100%. It's <laughs> yes, again, so I know. If any, I haven't seen it. No, no, no. I, no, I mean, like, just like when you smell it next to it, there's no way you're going to, like, grab, like, Inverhouse and squeeze the bottle or something. Or that one. That'll work. And just, like, like, it just to me, nose wise, honestly, the, the cheaper one here, discretion. It's more Inverhouse. That, that's, yeah. It, it smells like that. It has that light. To me, it has that light. Oh, all right. I, I, again, I can't tell you you're smelling wrong. It's yours. It's yours. Yeah, that's, that, but I don't. Let me let me taste this one. I think I think that in the on the nose and discretion, it brings more of that 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 flavor. That's this, and this is why I said in the last video, and and I should have waited, but I couldn't control myself because I got so excited. I I really want to say. Much like you get the banana in Jack Daniels, they claim it's in the yeast strain somehow. Because there's no reason something that is 38% rye and 60 corn tastes and this is it coming smells around now, a lot though, more. more. The discretion's coming around more towards the bourbon-esque. But no, it's not the huge bread. Which stuff. this one should, though. But that one didn't. That the, never, what I'm saying that is... That never changed. Because this is, this is still... No, most bourbons have so much corn, so much rye, so much malted barley. That's what most of the bourbons are. So that you would lean towards the tarnished truth. This weeder that is 70% corn, 18% wheat has a stronger flavor and taste to me than, than the other one. And it's cheaper. I, I honestly, I agree with you. And Steve, I, I, that answers your question. I, I would definitely go Steve said way. the same thing. He thought he liked this one better. Mm -hmm. I agree with him. I think I like that one better. I 100 percent agree. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's back to it's not always about the money. But this, but if you don't know, you yeah. know, you you would you would try to think, oh, it's that's ten dollars more. I'm going to go with that one. But, mm -hmm. but that being said, some people don't like weeders, and this rye tastes like a it's a it's a high rye bourbon tastes like a weeder because of whatever they I'm do. Not even sure about that. You don't think these two taste similar? I think the nose and redemption is uh, discretion is coming around. Redemption, but they got to put an actual T I O N on the end of them. I, I'm not a matter of the nose. You don't think they have a similar taste? No, they did. They both taste. They to me, it tastes like you're eating a fresh bread, oh, and yeah. they both they both have a similar taste. But I think the weeder, this one, has a better mouthfeel, has a better coat. And a slightly longer finish than the actual I'd say, high rye. I'd say more than a slightly finish. All day long, I would go here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It, which, if you're going to Virginia, Virginia Beach, go here. But no, this is like no other weeder we have tried. Because again, no. while he was here, I'm like, Steve, try this Weller 12. Try a little Maker's Mark. Try... What other weeders do we have? Well, I, and, well, and really none of them hit light. What? Is that 80? 86? 80? 86 Weller? The Weller 12? Oh, that was a 12? No, the Weller 12 wasn't. No, I think it's 90. Two? 90? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I remember it drinking easy, that's all. But it had a ton of flavor. No, it... it, it but it's it, not this flavor. That's no, that's no, all, no. all I'm saying is no, this that is the most unique... Oh, that had more like the bourbon. Yes. Wait, bourbon nose, bourbon flavor. It was very... Right. That was that was tasty. And, and now they, this, these aren't. But when you get to the tarnish truth, when you get down and there's only a little bit left in the glass, you, you can you, you, gotta, you can you start gotta, picking out like the bourbon flavors. So you you got to get pull. through that yeah. that bread, bread smell, um, from whatever I say yeah, bread yeah. smell, whatever smell you want to call it. You got to get through that first. It's almost like when you're doing a scotch, you got to get through that peat, and then you can yeah. get to the flavors underneath. But I still haven't got good at that. No, but. You gotta really dig. Overall, I, I I think 
I, I agree with you 100%. Nose, mouthfeel, overall drinkability, and finish, I give this the nod. Yeah, two Hands down. down. I give it the nod on, on the better. And, and save yourself a few nickels. Yep. I definitely would go there. If they're serving it at the bar, I would sample that there. Yep. But I would buy that. It's just, it's funny to me that the mash bills are so different. But they're, but they're, they're, they're yeah, not it's that like, far off. And that's right. why is I it, say. Is it the barrels they're using? Is it the water? Is it, well, that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, there is something that they're, they're doing they that's they making it. can't be used barrels. They can't, because it, it wouldn't right. be a burger. That's what I'm saying. So what are they doing that's different? That's why I started thinking maybe it was the yeast strain. Whatever the yeast strain is, because I swear to you, it tastes How like a bit, a one little corner of the world is it like that? But Jack Daniels does it. Don't smell like this. It smells like bananas. <laughs> but you don't get the banana smell. But anybody who does Jack Daniels... Nine times out of ten, we'll get that banana smell. It, but they all have that smell. No matter which Jack Daniels you grab, it all has that banana smell. Where I'm wondering if their yeast, whatever they use, is bringing off that fresh bread smell. And no matter what they make, it's it's that's carrying I through wonder, to the maybe, taste. Are they leaving the, the barrels out? It's getting the salt air. Again, if anyone has I guess a clue, there, there's a theory. There's, my theory is the yeast. If anyone actually knows, maybe you went to the distillery and did it. I don't know if Steve did a tour because they offered up tours. And, yeah, that would neat, but. and it, I, I'm not, I'm not sure if he did the tour or not because there was actually something's totally different because, like you said, hundred percent different. The mash bills are not even close, mm -mm. and yet the nose of this one's stronger as far as like to me uh, a rye. But this nose is closer to a bourbon. Ask. The funny thing is, too, is times just seem usually like weeders drink softer and yeah. easier, <laughs> but this one okay. has more flavor and is more robust than the high rye. I agree. Which, again, goes against everything. So, what we'll say for the 50th time, unique, these guys, hands down. It's yeah. a craft distillery. You're going to pay a little bit more. Is this a $44.99 bourbon? Because I can because it's small and I give it to and, them and for they, that. And they, like, is there a lot of other ones that we would buy that might be better? Get yes, it. but probably... this is so unique. I would buy it to put it on a shelf just because I can say, you want to taste something totally different? Definitely you know what I'm that. saying? And that's, but I would definitely buy this one. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I don't think I would spend the $70 because like I said to him, I'm like, all right, 60. let me just, or well, 60, but still, I'm like, all right, let me show you. So I grabbed the Knob Creek 120 proof, you know, store pick and I'm like, try this. He's like, oh my God. I'm like, that's the difference. You know what I mean? So it is. It's unique. It's cool because it, it's a small distillery and you got to go to the place. So thank you again for grabbing yes, it. Thank you. Because we would have probably never been able to try it because I don't think this is being shipped that far away from Virginia Beach. Right. You know what I mean? So, but if you are down point. in that area, and I do recommend this one, mm -hmm. you know, especially at the very least, get a bar pool because I don't think. We have over well over a hundred something bottles that we've gone through. Nothing we've tried. No, because that's what he kept saying. You nothing. I'm like Steve. I can't even give you something that's no. close. No, there's nothing that tastes like this, or smells like this. We're probably closer to finding something here than than that one. But even that's a stretch. And this is what we started on. So I went through all the leaders, and you get a hint of this flavor. Yeah, but that's it. This is a jump in your face of this flavor. Yeah. Okay, it comes out it's, with it's, that wheat. Yeah, that's why I kept saying wheat bread in my head. But I don't get that. But well, hopefully he will when it comes down to, to when we. I I did pour one of these for the blinds because Steve's like, no, take one, and I'm like, I don't want to take your stuff. He's like, no, I want you to put it in there. You keep saying it's gonna jump out. I said, as long as we remember what it is, it should because we have nothing that tastes like this. No, or smells like this. But it's back to will yeah, we remember it? You right, depending how long it before it, it pops it, out. Yeah, that could be. It could be 200 bottles from now. It could be because it, it, we still have some that we've put in right in the beginning. That's right. Like, that number one. 100, another, right? Or maybe. Yeah, or two or three. One of the one top, one 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 of two, the top I think it's five. Coming. I haven't. You know right. what I mean? So we don't know. But overall, again, can't say thanks enough, no, Steve. Thank awesome guy. Thank you very much for bringing these. And yes. uh, again, buy it if you will. It's $44.99. Uh, but it is unique. It is 100% unique. That part of it, I say, 
Definitely, if you're in the Virginia Beach area, it's worth swinging by and at least oh, it's gotta getting be in a, a liquor store drink. somewhere down. I, I would imagine I'm assuming they go it's in their least, vicinity. At least Virginia. I'm assuming it's Although in their Virginia's vicinity. Virginia's a long, big state. Very big. You go from one, you leave Virginia Beach, go west. Yeah, Virginia Beach is tucked. And, yeah, you it's, go west. It's tucked, yeah. It's a long way over. You know, there. I know. Well, no, I know. So that's what I mean. That's why you usually take. Virginia? Are you kidding me? You usually take like 13 <laughs> all the way down. It's it, still it, in Virginia. Yeah, it cuts. It, oh, yeah. Because I usually take, when I go through Virginia, it's always 81. So then you stay in Virginia the whole way because it yeah. takes your corner off. But that's like, going itself. When, when, going east and west is even worse. No, right. When you go, well, I'm saying, when I, every, time, every time I went to Virginia Beach, you're going to get on 13, and that's oh, just yeah. a horrible road. But it cuts off. You go to over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge or whatever there, so that it cuts all that time off. But yeah. The Bay Bridge and Tunnel. Yeah. 13 so, Tunnel, whatever it is. Again, uh, give Thank it a you. try. If someone else has tried this and you have a flavor that you think, leave a comment down below. I'd be curious. Again, uh, I'd be interested. In I get the fresh, like a wheat, maybe a multi-grain bread. But that it, it's a bread. It's not like a cake. At all. It's a bread. So there you go. And you're on the scotch end. So... I'd be curious to see what, because I'm certainly not getting no, I'm not, the not delicate so much, not butterscotch so, and honey no, no, and all no, that no, crap no. that they always say you're supposed <laughs> to get. I'm not even any of that. I do, I do get a little more of a hang time, which I wouldn't expect that out of this. Mm. And flavor, flavor, I don't mind a flavor. I, I like it. Say, the aftertaste to me brings me, and after he read it last night, I said, I can actually see that. I was on the edge of like a, a funky to uh, like a funky, like just a hint of like a funky uh, chocolate. But he said they said a t uh, 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 tobacco. And then I started thinking of Gramps pipe tobacco. And, and I'm like, maybe that's the weird. There was one flavor last night when I was drinking when I'm like, I am getting an, like at the very end while I'm drinking it. I'm like, I can't really say tobacco. We're not smokers and stuff. But I remember Gramps, remember you used to have the, 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 well, I did chew for a little while too, so. But I was doing Hawkins. It was always the minty, happy, go lucky. But, anyways, we try. We only give you this. We only give you this stuff. It, it is unique, though, hundred percent. Not like we've had. So that being said, give it a try. Leave a comment down below. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Yes. Likes also help because YouTube. The more you like, the more they'll suggest people, and then hopefully they start suggesting us out, and we can get some more subscribers. So that being said, suggestion suggestions are always good. Always. Comments. Right. Because Sunday Funday is coming up. Leave a suggestion down below what you'd like to see on that day. And that being said, spend less, drink more. Cheers. This one actually called Falls into that, I think. The spend less, drink more? Mm -hmm. Well, compared to that one, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. I didn't say.